Welcome to Ginger Tech Talk. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can dual boot Ubuntu with your current operating system. But before we get started, you're going to need two things. An Ubuntu Live CD and a partition for Ubuntu. So if you haven't done those already, there will be links in the sidebar showing you how to complete them. So when you get done making your Ubuntu Live CD and your partition, take your Ubuntu Live CD, put it into your computer, restart, and boot into the Live CD. Once you launch into your Live CD, you'll get to this menu where you can select your preferred language. I'm going to pick English. Use your arrow keys to go to Try Ubuntu without any change to your computer and hit Enter. After you load into Ubuntu, you get to the desktop. You haven't installed Ubuntu yet, but from here you can check out what Ubuntu has to offer. You can go to the applications, get on the internet, and then when you decide you want to install Ubuntu, just click on the install shortcut. Okay, now the first thing you're going to need to do is pick your preferred language. I'm going to pick English and click forward. Now pick your region and your city and click forward. Now click your keyboard layout and click forward. Now wait for this to load. Okay, this part may or may not come up. If you have a USB plugged in, if you have an iPod plugged in, if you have an external hard drive plugged in, it'll come up. And it wants to know if you want to unmount those drives. Click yes. Now wait for the partition manager to load up. Okay, now the first thing you're probably going to notice is the free space, the 50 gigs that we created. And now the only thing you need to do from here is click specify partitions manually the advanced option and click forward. Now just click forward again. Now wait for this to load. Okay, at the prepare partitions page, click on a free space and then click on new partition. Now we're going to make this one a swap and so and swap is equivalent to Windows virtual memory and it's what your system uses when your RAM is running low. So for the type, leave it at logical and for the size, you're supposed to make it twice the size of your RAM. So if you have one gig, you'll put two gigs. And if you have two gigs, you'll put four gigs. So I have two gigs, so I'm going to put 4,096. And now for the, the location, you just leave a beginning, that's fine. And now for the use as, put swap area, and click OK. Okay, you should notice the new swap partition we just made. So click on free space, and click on new partition. Now for this one, this is where the operating system itself is going to be stored, so it needs to be at least 10 gigabytes. So make this 10,240 megabytes. And then click for the location, click beginning, for the use as, ext3, and for the mount point, the backslash, and click OK. Okay, you should see the new partition we just created. Click on free space again, and click on new partition. So this partition is where everything you save on Ubuntu is going to be saved here. So if any documents, any music files, anything like that will be saved under this partition. So I'm going to make it 36.6 gigs because that's how much free space I have left. But you can make it whatever you like. I'm going to make the location beginning and the use as ext3 and the mount point slash home and click on OK. So if you see the slash home partition, you can go ahead and click forward. Okay, just fill in your name here. You can pick a password. You can choose if you want to log in automatically or have a password require at login and go ahead and click forward. Okay, this page is for if you're dual booting, any files from your other operating system will show up here and you can import them into Ubuntu. But don't worry if they don't show up because you can access all those files from the Ubuntu desktop. And go ahead and click forward. This page is just for the install settings. You can go ahead and click install. Okay, this is a pretty long install, so it'll probably take a little bit longer than an hour to get done. And when it's done, this will pop up. You can go ahead and restart your computer. When you restart, you'll restart into Grub Loader, where you can choose which operating system you want to use. So you successfully dual booted Ubuntu 9.4. Thanks for watching Ginger Tech Talk, and please subscribe for more videos.